Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the place to be where you can develop your creative skills and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to type on a path in InDesign. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more design tips like this. So let's hop into InDesign. Go ahead and create a new file. Any size will do in this tutorial. Okay, click on the pen tool right here. And pen tool can be quite intimidating for beginners, but no worries. Like everything else in life, you'll get used to it as long as you practice, practice, practice. You can start learning by subscribing to my channel, and I have lots of design tips for you there. So moving on, now that you have your pen tool, just click anywhere for the first point, and then click and drag for the next point, and do the same on the third one, like so. So by default, there's no fill or stroke. I've set a none on both um, stroke and fill here. So the stroke is the border and the fill is the background color. And uh, with this, in this tutorial, we don't want a fill or a stroke. So basically, we don't want a line or a color underneath our text. So next, go to your type tool and select type on a path tool. So this is your type tool and just click on type on a path tool. Then hover on this path and click on it. And once you see the cursor, you can start typing. For example, this is a very cool tutorial video. Okay, now press Ctrl or Command A or double click on the text to select everything and make it larger so you can see it better, this one. Now you can move these around and you can make it actually bigger or sh smaller, however you want your uh, text to be. So typing on a path can be used for more than just a pen tool though. Any path that you create, you can add a type on a path to it. For example, an ellipse tool. So click and drag to create a circle. And you can hold shift or shift alt to create a perfect circle. I have a tutorial on ways to resize shapes and objects perfectly. Links are in the description. So, okay, back to our circle. When you've created your shape, it's the same thing. Just choose type on a path, again here, and then hover over your circle. When that plus sign shows up, just click on it and start typing your text. All right, so what if you want the text at the bottom or inside or on the sides though? Well, what you're gonna do is See this tiny icon? Let me zoom it for you. So if you can see this icon here, it's kind of like a really small box uh, at the beginning of your text. You can click and drag that around. It sets the beginning and the end point. For example, if I click on this one and move this here, it goes like this. See how it moves over the circle? And there are also these tiny lines here this one and this one and another one on the outside. So you can also move them around or place them for, for example, if you want this text inside the circle, you can also do this, move it inside and it will go inside. And then just move this one again to position it inside the circle. So if you want it back on the outside, just click and drag it back out. And this takes a little bit of experimentation, but otherwise so much fun to do. So that's how you put a text on a path. There you go. That's another quick and easy design style for you. And if you've got questions or comments, please drop those down below. And I hope you found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.